Hello, my lovely people. So let's continue with a Tophis in Ghana. So he had this exclusive interview with Nana Abba. Please watch and follow how interesting. To take control of affairs. Okay. Moi, euh, euh, je suis un Africain décomplexé. Je n'ai jamais pensé que j'étais meilleur que les autres, mais je ne me suis jamais vu inférieur aux autres. Well, uh, as an African, I I don't have any complex, mm -hmm. but I never saw myself as superior to any other person. Mm -hmm. Neither did I see myself to be inferior to anyone. Okay, but I mean, Eto, you are Eto. That superiority is always there, isn't it? No, je no? pense que j'ai, uh, grâce à Dieu et à mes coéquipiers, j'ai écrit une belle histoire de ma de la première partie de ma vie comme footballeur. I think uh, with the help of God, and thanks to my teammate, I was able to chop some great success um, on the first part of my career as a football player. Mm -hmm. Mais je reste un comme tout le monde. But I remain a human being, just like anybody else. Mm -hmm. Et, uh, une autre très belle histoire, comme du football. And my ambition to rewrite another story as a football player. Uh, Mais c'est deux mondes totalement différents parce que il y a beaucoup de politiques comme uh, uh, dirigeants. Of course, this is totally different as a leader because it involves a lot of politics. Mm -hmm. Mais uh, j'ai la chance de compter avec uh, un gouvernement qui m'accompagne et un peuple qui m'aime énormément. However, I'm lucky to count on a government that is supporting me a lot and uh, a population that is actually behind me that loves me a lot right and it's interesting you talk about the population that loves you because uh, since i posted your flyer that i'm interviewing i've been getting messages even from cameroon a cameroonian reached out and said that he's from bamenda uh -huh. and bamenda has experienced so many conflicts That's but you're building a stadium in bamenda for them and for him if there is no other reason to love you it's because of the stadium he will love you forever <laughs> yeah, and Thank i thought that was something i had to tell you uh, 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 euh, euh, mon amour, je, je partage mon amour avec euh, tous les Camerounais. For me, I share that love that I have with all citizens. Euh, et, et, et ce qui nous unit, c'est cette équipe nationale là, euh, l'équipe nationale du Cameroun, euh, euh, où quand on joue, tout le monde est heureux de voir cette équipe gagner. And what unites us as citizens is our national team, where when we are playing. Everybody is rooting behind the team. Et pour moi, il était important que le football se joue partout dans le Cameroun parce que cette jeunesse là, la seule chose qu'elle veut c'est de jouer au football. And for me, it was very important to see football being played across the Cameroonian um, territory because this is a youth football population that loves football. Okay. Now I'm going to move into some lifestyle issues, but I'm going back to a point you made that the World Cup is for Africa and any African country that makes it to the semi-final, for instance, is a big win for Africa. So it means that all the countries are looking for all their best players to play. Just this week, our former captain, Asamoah John, I was on the BBC and he mentioned that he'd be happy to play for Ghana again in uh, Qatar. And he connected it to Roger Miller. Who came back and still did wonders for his country? Do you think Asamoah Gyan should go for the World Cup and play for Ghana? Asamoah Gyan, uh, my young brother, he nous a apporté tellement de joie. Asamoah Gyan, being my younger brother, has actually given us great joy, beaucoup uh, de plaisir, lot of uh, pleasure, et je suis content de savoir que il veut relever ce défi. And I'm glad to know that. He wants to take on this challenge. Mais une fois de plus encore, c'est le sélectionneur qui est le seul à avoir la dernière décision. But once again, the final decision is that of the coach. Right. <laughs> I like that. Eto is really learning politics in Africa. Yes, I say political. <laughs> I get it. All right. So I'm still going to focus on the World Cup now and what African countries can draw from, um, you know, the, the World Cup in Qatar. There is this thorny issue that usually cuts across: winning bonuses. For instance, at the World Cup in Brazil, Ghana was all over the country, all over the world, because we flew money to Brazil for players. At what point do we draw the line between a player wearing the colours? Of their country and playing with passion, and then the quest for money from the FA that pay us or we don't play. 
Which one should come first, the money or the passion to play for your country? I think you should respect the work of the footballers. I think first of all, you need to respect the work of footballers. It's their work. It's their work. Et c'est comme vous, c'est comme moi. It's just like what you're doing, it's just like what I'm doing. Yeah. Mais moi, j'ai fait le choix de ne pas toucher à mon salaire, parce que je n'en ai pas besoin. But I personally decided not to touch my salary because I didn't need it. Mais, quand vous faites un boulot, vous êtes payé pour ça. But of course, when you work, you need to be paid for it. Parce que la fédération profite. Because the federation obviously benefit from it. Uh, L'image du pays est vendue à l'international. And you are selling the image of the country nationwide. Donc, je pense que ce n'est même pas une question de pays, c'est juste une reconnaissance vis-à-vis -vis de ces joueurs pour dire que euh, euh, le pays, la fédération, nous sommes heureux pour ce que vous faites pour notre pays. So, it's not really about paying, me, paying them, it's just acknowledging that the country is grateful for the work you're doing. Parce que quand vous regardez peut-être, Uh, on ne peut pas payer un uh, André Ayou qui gagne uh, je ne sais pas combien de millions de pounds. Because as a, as a country, you won't be able to pay André Ayou who, okay. who gains a whole lot. Right. Mais on, on doit donner quelque chose pour lui dire notre fils, notre joueur, nous sommes heureux pour ce que tu apportes au pays. Hi, well, we need to give him something symbolic to say uh, as a son of the land. We are grateful for what you are doing for us. Je, je pense que c'est plus dans la manière de faire les choses. I believe it's the way we go about it. Okay. Et il faut anticiper. Parce qu'en Europe, 